Could it be true that life might have existed on Mars? What if few of our assumptions about Mars were true? With the growing insane discoveries on Mars, scientists keep unraveling new findings every day. New observations by NASA's rovers suggest that microbial life could have survived on Mars in the distant past when the red planet was a warmer and wetter place. We're talking about, well, over 4 billion years ago, long before the first signs of life on Earth. How about the curious image of what looks like a tiny doorway structure on the Martian landscape? Curiosity snapped the image with its mast camera on May 7th, and it was released by NASA later that same week. Many speculated it was an opening to some alien caves that once lived there. With these interesting speculations, scientists are left with the big question. Can Earth life trace its lineage back to Mars? Stay tuned until the end of this video as we unravel a few discoveries about Mars that have been disturbing the entire space industry. As usual, scientists have an explanation for almost every discovery. NASA dismissed claims that the perceived doorway is evidence of extraterrestrial life, and said the opening is a result of rock movement. Okay, but how about the other key elements found on Mars? A brief history of how it all started. On June 19, 1976, the Viking 1 lander was the first spacecraft to successfully land on Mars. Its companion, Viking 2, landed on September 3rd of that same year. Both landers opened the door to our modern exploration of Mars, partly by showing that there was more than meets the eye to the desert world as we previously thought. The two spacecraft were the first to provide evidence that Mars had ancient riverbeds and vast flooding, as well as all other elements that are essential to life, similarly to that on Earth such as carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, and phosphorus. The evidence of precipitation on Mars also proves that the planet once had a thicker atmosphere in the past. But what happened over time? It was later discovered that the planet lost its blanket of life-friendly gases through atmospheric escape to outer space, leaving behind just a wisp of what was once there. So the scientists proceeded to carry out some extensive experiments to ascertain their assumptions. Along with cameras and other instruments to study the Martian environment, the Vikings had small astrobiology labs aboard to perform experiments looking for present-day life on Mars. The first experiment was to detect gaseous waste produced by living organisms. So the experiment combined tiny samples of Martian soil with drops of water that had a nutritional solution and some radioactive carbon. The soil sample tested positive for metabolism, but scientists disagreed on whether this result is a sure sign that life existed on Mars, since the gas could have been produced by many other factors other than life. For instance, ultraviolet light from the sun could have triggered the soil, thus creating off-gassing. Another experiment was conducted for traces of organic material, and unfortunately, they found none, suggesting that there was no life on Mars. And for more than 40 years, scientists held on to this conclusion. Not until recently, NASA's Curiosity rover found traces of sulfur, nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and carbon while drilling a Martian rock. There's no doubt about it, these are key elements for life. The rover also found minerals like sulfates and sulfides that could have also served as food for ancient microbes on Mars billions of years ago. The minerals also reflected in the chemical composition of the water found on Mars. There are papers that have been published saying that not only was there water on Mars, but that water had a chemical makeup or such that we could have drunk it. A NASA scientist says, We could have sat there and sipped it and been very happy. In 2018, the Curiosity rover discovered more evidence of methane in Martian air, which confirms what other orbiters and rovers have previously observed. On Earth, methane is considered a biosignature and an indication of life. Because methane is a volatile gas, it does not last long after it's produced before decomposing into other molecules. The findings also suggested that methane levels fluctuate occasionally. That led scientists to assume that the presence of living organisms on Mars could be responsible for its production and the rise and fall of the gas. Although none of the findings provided a definite answer to the question of life on Mars, they made up different pieces of the puzzle of Mars's past and called for more research on the red planet. On February 18th, NASA's Perseverance rover landed on Mars to examine Mars's Jezero Crater, a 28-mile-wide, 1,600-foot-deep crater located in a basin slightly north of the Martian equator. The rover was charged with the unprecedented task of collecting samples from the Martian landscape, storing them in tiny tubes, 
and leaving them on Mars for a future pickup mission, as well as continuing in the search for signs of life. Jezero Crater once housed a lake estimated to have dried out 3.5 to 3.8 billion years ago, making it the perfect environment to look for signs of ancient microorganisms that may have lived in the lake's waters. Just recently, NASA scientists in charge of the mission discovered that the bedrock their six-wheeled explorer had been driving on since landing in February formed from red-hot magma. The discovery has implications on our understanding of critical events in the history of Jezero Crater, as well as the entire red planet. Because ever before Perseverance touched down on Mars, the mission's science team had wondered about the origin of the rocks in the area. The scientists also discovered that the rocks in the crater region have interacted with water multiple times over the eons and that some contain organic molecules. Scientists also found evidence that a region of northern Mars, called Arabia Terra, experienced thousands of super eruptions, the biggest volcanic eruptions ever known, over a 500 million year period. It's worth noting that some volcanoes can be so powerful that when they produce eruptions, they release oceans of dust and toxic gases into the air, blocking out sunlight and changing a planet's climate for decades. After critical studying of the topography and mineral composition of a portion of the Arabia Terra region in northern Mars, scientists recently found evidence for thousands of such eruptions, or super-eruptions, which are the most violent volcanic explosions known. Spewing water vapor, carbon dioxide, and sulfur dioxide into the air, these explosions tore through the Martian surface over a 500 million year period. And this was said to have happened about 4 billion years ago. Scientists reported this estimate in a paper published in the Geophysical Research Letters Journal. How about the Homestake vein in Cape York? NASA's Mars Exploration Rover Opportunity inspected this mineral vein, called Homestake, located at the edge of the Cape York section of Endeavour Crater's western rim. The vein is about the width of a thumb and about 18 inches or 45 centimeters long. Opportunity examined it and found it to be rich in calcium and sulfur. These are just a few of the numerous weird discoveries on Mars. All these key elements, and that ancient Mars could have supported microbes, raises the tantalizing possibility that life may have evolved on the red planet before it emerged on Earth. Has any living thing been discovered on Mars? To date, no proof of past or present life has been found on Mars. Cumulative evidence suggests that in the past, the surface environment of Mars had liquid water and may have been habitable for microorganisms but habitable conditions do not necessarily indicate life. It can be summarized that in the search for life on the red planet, the top discoveries are salty water, a warmer client, a watery past, an ancient volcano, past flowing waters, right conditions for life. Does this mean that man could successfully live on Mars? Well, though Mars might look like a hot planet, it's only slightly colder than Earth, which means it's entirely possible to heat it back up. The compression of the Martian atmosphere is also considered favorable to the growth of plants on Mars. Furthermore, the length of a Martian day is relatively close to the Earth's compared to other celestial bodies. However, there are still unfavorable conditions that would most probably result in our imminent death. Mars is a planet with harsh and uninhabitable terrain. There's barely any oxygen or water. Don't forget that the scientists only discovered salty water. How about the crazy dust storms? Mars may be uninhabitable for now, but scientists and the young visionary Elon Musk believe that through the process of terraforming, humanity just might have a second home in space. Meaning, a deliberate act of modifying the atmosphere, temperature, surface topography, or ecology of the planet Mars. 